American parachutists are fighting today from Port Moresby to North Africa. They're trained to battle in any part of the world, in any climate, on any terrain, desert or snow. The training is tough. So is the job. Here's how a fighting paratrooper is made. Our man begins by learning to jump, to tumble, to fall. Here's a machine that builds bodies. The training gets tougher. Up in a harness for a quick slide to the ground to give him the feeling of movement in the air. A wind machine is used to fill the practice chute so he can learn to handle his parachute on the ground. Next, he drops from a 200-foot tower in a parachute chair. He gets an idea of height and view. And the sensation of coming down quickly. Now he is closer to the real thing. He is hoisted by cable, and he learns how it feels when a parachute opens. He knows his parachute. He learns to pack it, fold by fold, each in its own place, for compactness and order. To check it, every cord coiled accurately and in position. He gives it scrupulous care, for on his parachute hangs his life. Using a dummy plane, he learns to time his jumps. Back to the tower again, jumping with a parachute already inflated. He's ready now and equipped with a helmet to guard his face from snapping rope lines and high boots to break the landing shock. He's up for final inspection. The plane is ready, and so are the men. below are the objective must locate, carefully plotted on aerial maps. Stand up is the order from the jump master. Book static lines. The men help each other with the last minute checkup. Wait. To the door. Jump. Eighteen men in ten seconds. Their first jump. They drift to their objectives, working shroud lines to guide them. Ready for action with rifle and demolition kit. <laughs> 